You guys remember these? The old uh, Zippo lighters? I thought I'd pick this up mainly for remembering these. Yeah, it comes in a cool little package, you know. Now, I bought it with this particular case here, you know, that the Zippo lighter can go into. It seals it up pretty good in there, and it has the molly on the back. I might attach this to my waist belt. I'm not sure yet. But, um, Zippo lighters, and this one's all black, are pretty cool. You know, easy to light. It's a pretty good flame, right? And then you got these old Bic knockoffs and stuff, you know. So why did I want a, a Zippo? Well, I don't smoke. I quit seven years ago. But they come in handy for lighting fires. It made me think about it. I take that set that underneath the fire and underneath the wood and wait and sooner or later the fire will catch fire a pretty cool idea right a little information for you guys if the wick is closer to the wheel the smaller the front the smaller the flame if the wick is further away from the wheel like way over to the other side okay the flame is actually higher. Kind of cool, isn't it? Now, of course, you could do the same thing with a Bic, you know, and a candle. Just light your candle. And you could stick that underneath your wood and light your fire. Pretty simple. And this is way cheaper. I mean, a Bic is good for about a week to two weeks with fuel. Um, with the uh, Zippo fuel, right? Good for about a week or two. The Zippo is far more expensive. Way more expensive than a Bic. I mean, when these things were invented, it pretty much made Zippos almost obsolete. So, why buy a Zippo? Well, it's for that reason. It doesn't stay lit. I have to hold it down. And that's the thing. Where with this, I can light it. And like I said, set that underneath and start a fire. So, well, there's a little bit of heat coming off that. I can even warm my hands with that. But there was another reason why I bought this. And the idea is you can burn multiple fuels. It doesn't have to be Zippo. Now, Zippo burns the cleanest. It keeps your wicks, keeps the lighter working. But in the Vietnam era, they used to um, attach a wire to the insert. Like They pull this up, and they attach a wire to the round circles in the lighter that are bent all around. They take this, and they dunk it down into the gas tank, of the vehicles and uh, you know prime it up with gas and then they could light their lighter but that was the main reason in a situation of say SHTF um, you can use multiple different fuels you can use diesel gasoline um, pretty much any fuel that burns is what you can use now you might want to lower the wick if you're using other fuels like gasoline or diesel or some of them because the higher that wick is the more it blows off the smoke the black smoke but um, an amazing invention that was I think they invented this year, what 1939 it was way back there is when this was invented and if you actually search eBay you can actually find people selling um, antique Zippo lighters, $100, $150, and they're not even that pretty. 
I mean, literally, they'll say, like, has, like, an engraving on it that says, from the moving company, whatever business it was. I mean, they're not even that good looking, but they're charging $100 because of how old it is. Now, I did notice with this particular lighter that came with this kit is the steel's not as thick as what it was in the old days. Because in the old days when I was younger, I had, I had quite a few of these. And uh, it was made a lot different. Now, another thing to keep in mind with Zippos, you don't want to be, you know, a lot of people flick them and open and close and do these fancy tricks with them. You really don't want to do that with your Zippo lighter if you think about picking one of these up. Um, it'll, it, it'll, where the hinge connects, it'll loosen up the hinge over time. You really want to keep that in perfect condition as best you can because when you add the fuel, I mean, you have to think, where is that going to evaporate from? It's obviously going to evap evaporate where this closes at the lid here, is where that's going to evaporate on the Zippo. Now, I've seen some guys take Ranger bands, which are bicycle tubes, and run them around the opening here where it connects to make it keep the fuel a little bit longer. Um, maybe an elastic, a wider elastic you could use, which is pretty impressive. But there's a lot of history behind this Zippo. And I was just like, I want to have one on my pack. I really do. Now, there's a little bit of weight to it. I mean, just the Zippo itself, 2.2 uh, ounces. And then if I add, you know, I add this uh, Molly carrying case. Three point two ounces, three point one, but going back and forth. So three point two ounces with the carrying case. It's got a little weight to it, and like I said, it's a Molly, you know, and it does tuck in there pretty good. I, I can't really, I can't see that coming out of there with that case whatsoever. I really can't. Now what I do is inside the lighter, in case you don't know this. This felt I lift up. If I can get it for you. Well, you can use tweezers or whatever. Lift the felt up. And then underneath that, I've got a couple flints that go inside the lighter. So that way, if I ever hit it and it doesn't spark, I can pull flint out of the, out of the bottom. I keep them right inside the lighter. There's kind of little tricks to do with these things. And when you fill these... Okay, when you fill these up, you got to lift that felt up. And you'll see how that comes up like that. So, and then you fill it up underneath it after that, and then you close it. But I thought it'd be cool, pretty cool as a fire starter to have when I go out backpacking. You know, it's not for everybody. But it does seem to be pretty reliable. Now, if you're going to go buy a Zippo, I'll have a link in the bottom to this particular kit. But you are going to need to buy the fluid, some, uh, another wick, and some extra flints just in case you need them. You know, but... Um, I think it's a pretty good survival tool, being that it'll burn gasoline, diesel, and just about anything there is. I mean, Bex are far cheaper, I and mean, there's no two ways about it. But when this runs out, or when the fluid comes out, or whatever, that's the end of this lighter. You throw it away, it's done. You never use it again. Where with the Zippo, you know, if you come across gasoline, diesel, or other flammable liquids, you can actually fill it inside this and still have it with you. And with a situation where shit hit the fan, well, you're probably going to use all kinds of different fuels. But you're also going to have to stock up on wicks and stuff like that to fix your Zippo. Because, I mean, when you start using diesel or other types of fuels like that, you'll, you'll make it dirty and then it, you'll have to change out your wicks and stuff like that. But I thought it was pretty cool. 
So I'm going to attach this to my pack someplace and, uh, I don't know, I'll start some fires with it or whatever instead of just using regular matches or whatever. So if you're interested in getting yourself a Zippo setup like this, if you've never heard of them, most of the older guys have, but um, the younger generation hasn't, I have a couple links in the bottom and you guys can go check them out. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.